Hey guys, welcome back to World Chicken 9, including Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. We are playing the Spaced Out DLC, which means that we are playing on multiple asteroids out there in the void of space. Over here on Pyaxlin, things have been turning over incredibly well. We've got ourselves some slick ranches that make a bunch of oil, going so well that we've actually backed up with oil and we are throttled by the oil refineries over here. That's nice, that's a good situation to find ourselves in. Over on Reverselin, where we're trying to make our way up through the magma layer that spawned above us at the very beginning of the game, the thing that had kept us trapped since the very start, uh, it's still mocking us. We are trying to put the the heat into this steam and turn this uh, cool the steam down and in turn uh, coal cool the lava down. It's um it's not been going so well. Uh, in, in fact, I am having to change a few plans over here. We're probably going to spend most of today's episode working on this, uh, trying to make this area function well as an uh, igneous rock production facility because we need igneous rock to feed our hatches, and our hatches are our food supply. We are able to keep topping over at the moment but but it's uh, it's getting pretty desperate we've only got three kilogram uh, three tons sorry of uh, igneous rock left we, we need to get this turning over and we can do so in its current form but I have decided that we need to move this Thermo Aqua Tuna out of here. It is the one thing that was holding us back. As you can see, it's been taking a whole a bunch of thermal damage there. If we press the F6, the thing that it is doing is, is cooling this whole area down. A lot of heat gets produced whilst trying to cool down magma, would you believe? And this system was one that was... Uh, designed to take that heat and put it into the same place where we were nullifying the magma's heat from. All great in theory apart from the magma warmed up the steam far far too much and the thermal aqua tuna was taking damage. So down here we're making a second area. I got started on clearing this out, moving things like the smart battery and the large power transformer that was sat here out of the way so that we could put this under there. Uh, and I now need to think about pipage. If we're going to move this out of here, we, we won't need to have all of this running through here anymore. I am tempted to move this up and and through here somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where, but if we can bring the pipe over this way instead, we could then zigzag back and forth across here much more conveniently and uh, neatly, I hope. But we're just letting the system cool down as much as we can at the moment. I'm surprised this steam turbine is still turning over with the uh, the steam only being 123 degrees C under here. I thought it had to be at least 125. Okay, we're about ready to shunt the water off onto another system here. It's not going to be a perfect match. We're going to be losing this bit in the middle here for a little while, but I think we can make do with that. Oh, we missed that. With the pliers, I'm just going to snip this to make sure all the water goes out and around. And I think with that, we are going to break open this wall. Our duplicates will have to brave the 128 degree steam, but I think we can, uh, we can live with that, or at least... They can live with that. And I'm going to rip down this aqua tuna, this the, the the thermo sensor, like all the pipage. No, I like not not all the pipage. We're going to keep some of it for this system. Now what we need to do is oh, seal this place up. But there is also one more thing we need to do. I haven't put the uh, automation in. Okay, with the automation in place, now I'm going to seal this in. Uh, turn that up. Curie at the moment inside the steam box having um, a great time, I'm sure. I'm sure. There's a small possibility we're gonna have some steam escape. Let's uh, put that on high priority as well. I'm really worried about this, if I'm to be honest. Uh, hopefully, no, okay. Uh, the, the water is climbing in temperature and this is quite bad. I went down again. Okay, that's that's pretty good. I'm hoping the bottle emptier is keeping the temperature stable. Okay, Bohr is here to drop some more, there we go, petroleum in there. Bam. All right, all, all problems are solved. I was really worried that the water was going to turn into steam. This water, in fact, will turn into steam, but the little blob that was in front of the bottle emptier would have also turned to steam, and then there would have been a straight line for it to all escape into my base, and that that would have been sadness. 
Okay, that's a whole bunch of pipes in place, but we do have a bit of a problem where the uh, Thermo Aqua Tuna was turning over and freezing some of the water in the pipes. That that wasn't wasn't ideal, if I was to be honest with you, especially as we've got to get in there and still get the oxygen out. Uh, let me get my gas overlay on. You can see the oxygen sits above the steam. Uh, we have a way of doing that. Oh, no, I can't do it this side. I'm going to have to do it this side. Hmm. I think if I use a mesh tile, when they replace the insulated tile with the mesh tile, the item that the insulated tile is made out of, granite in this case, should get put on top of the mesh tile. I, I think that's the case. And then I'm going to use a liquid bottle emptier. So we've got some water that has condensed down the bottom there. If we hit the auto bottle with this as well, maybe get, get someone on it. Oh, there we go. Curie's on it. <laughs> Now I'm not sure how much petroleum this is going to take, so I'm going to be sat here watching it. I'm hoping that... oh, maybe some more than that. Okay, we've had the unfortunate situation arise where things are not doing what I want, and that, oh, that's just unacceptable. Uh, what's happened here is because the water's already condensed on the bottom, uh, we can't get any liquids underneath it. So I think what I'm going to do is say, hey, can we... um? Can we boil that water? That that would pick it up and put it above all the other stuff we've got around. That that would actually be very helpful. Okay, after waiting for a moment, we're at 100 degrees. We do need to go to 103. I'm now going to turn this off and see what happens. Okay, we got we do have some steam, but I don't think it's enough. And uh, we, yeah, oxygen's up there as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the crude oil back on. I feel like we're gonna need some. Oh, whilst, whilst I wasn't watching, the thing that I wanted to happen totally just happened. It, this was tiny little, little bits of liquid down below, and I was having trouble getting things condensing up top. And I was thinking of ripping the side down. I'm having a bit of a health crisis over here because people are taking items out of the steam room. This is good. This is what I want them to do. But of course, they are getting hot. They are having to go down. So I was just making sure everyone was OK. And then I came back and had a look and, and, and it was it was fine. It was all good. If we have a look, there is no gases in here. It is all indeed liquids, liquids that I am fine with leaving there. OK, so I'm going to seal that up. We're going to deconstruct this. Ooh, we, we might even be on the way soon. Okay, we're sealed in and ready to change this back to a more reasonable temperature. If above 20 degrees, please do cool this down. Yeah, we're cooling it down. That's great. Okay, so now this guy should turn on very shortly. Uh, we're coming up to workable temperatures. We could probably do with having... Oh, what, what are you doing? Anyway, we could do with having a little bit more liquids in there, but I think at the moment this is fine. 150, 150. When does this turn on? I thought it was 150. Th th this one told me it was 150. All right, well, 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 what now? Ah, it's because I've got the automation in, of course. Let's let's go with 150. There we go. Okay, so th that's good. If I was looking for a more efficient steam turbine, I would totally be turning this up to uh, 200. But I, I don't care about steam turbine efficiency. I care about keeping everything cool. Poor Curie is definitely ending up ooh, in hospital before too long. Have we really cooled this area down enough for her to be walking? Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Her body heat? The conductance of her body was enough to cool the steam down. That That's interesting. She's definitely going to have a bad time very shortly, though. Uh, let's... I mean, do I bug her out or do I let her deep? Yeah, there we go. Now, now we bug her out. Okay, all right. That 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 was kind of expected. But we've got, we got a... a got an open triage cot here someone must be on their way to grab her it's rutherford is has rutherford got enough health to get in there i sure hope so uh, it's, uh, nail biting stuff i really need to look after my duplicates a little bit better but you know we we're, we're lurking with lava i really really should have set some exosuits up <laughs> Okay, after a lot of my sweat, their blood, maybe a little bit of tears as well. I think we're ready to give this a go again. Uh, maybe. Okay, below 200. Let's go. Let's do this. Bam. In, in it goes. And we're going to start warming up this uh, this water here. Incredibly hot. Uh, I have, of course, put more water in the system so that we can kind of smooth the temperature variation out just a little bit. That, that's the hope, anyway. That is the 
the hope all of the uh, the metal and stuff in the background also warming up the conveyor rail having to come up to a temperature as well Ooh, the night night time's been called that's fine that's fine the water still taking a little while but it is sublimating before our very eyes i'm not really seeing it it's not sublimating it is liquid just as we're right here but you know it's just going it's it's just disappearing okay this steam turbine become active i wonder whether it's going to keep the temperature of this down that that would be great but i just i don't think that's going to happen i mean to begin with for the door to close it needs to come up to 200 and yeah that that won't hold for 200 at all okay we, we've hit the 200 stage maybe y yes i think okay we ooh, i should put a buffer gate on there so it doesn't bounce up and down quite as severely as that but now what's happening i think we're doing okay as long as this doesn't get ridiculously hot up here which it might do i'm, I'm seeing the temperature of the steam turbine creep up but it, it might also work out well. We've already pulled out enough heat from the igneous rock for it to have solidified. The thermal aqua tuna down below has come online. Uh, liquids are being chilled, but everything seems to be okay and holding fast. We, we need a better coolant for our steam turbine. Perhaps we need to pour some petroleum down the bottom here. I don't really have the room to do that though. I'm not sure. Hmm. But it's definitely something I need to figure out how to do. Let's, let's, let's stop for a second and think. I might need to think harder than this. But I'm going to build this tile here. We're going to rip this insulated tile down. We're going to move a bottle opener here. And we're going to try and pour some liquids across the floor. That's my plan. It, it might work. It might not. It can't be water. It has to be petroleum or... Oh, no. We, we don't... We, we can sort that out. We can sort that out. Okay, so I've got some crude oil coming through from the other side. 214 kilograms. That's a lot of kilograms. Uh, it's also quite warm, but we, we'll, we'll make do with that. We'll throw some crude oil down on the floor. Uh, enable the auto bottle, of course. There we go. That should do a lot better. Of course, the idea is that we've got very cool water coming through the background of these pipes here. Uh, and that should be transferring through to the steam turbine. But the, the, the air is not good enough. Look at this. Almost instantly. That That's amazing. That that just works so, so well. I can't... I can, I can hardly believe it. I can hardly believe it. But the, uh, the, the, the oil is picking up the temperature from the water and transferring it to the steam turbine because liquids are much better at transferring... Oh man, look at, look at all this mess I've made. Much better at transferring temperatures around than gases are. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Mm, uh, yeah, of course. The mechanized airlock is gonna pass... Oh, well, I mean that—that's a little awkward. I—I—I I, I don't think I'm afraid to admit that that is quite awkward. Let's pull this out at 480. Uh, I'm—I'm I'm not sure. I really was hoping that. Oh man, we. We're, we're gonna have to just try and take the heat out of here in any way that we possibly can, um, to just empty this magma chamber and then when we've done that we will most definitely this is going to make everything overheat so fast uh and then when we've turned this all into igneous rock we could probably um come up with a better system here yeah it's still leaving here at 300 we're gonna we're gonna start making petroleum uh that like there's uh, overheating steam yeah we got we got problems there are problems Okay, so that was a little bit of a disaster, even down to people being incapacitated. Thankfully, the triage cots are empty right now. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so let, let's bring this down to the 200 like I, like I thought I was going to and see what happens for that cycle. Are we just going to end up... Hmm, no one's picking Boar up. What's going on here? Let's make sure he is assigned. So who's gonna go get him? 
Okay, it was it was Rutherford. That's that's good. In fact, we get a nice free freeze frame as the morning autosave kicks in, and man, we do end up with a lot of water down here. No, who made a mess and where? Okay, that's fine, Maxwell. What? Oh, my toilets have backed up. That's. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So solve that issue somehow. This is all got deadlocked. I hope that doesn't happen again. Okay. So this is opened back up. This doesn't look good. <laughs> so what's going on here? We got vacuum. Okay. Well, I guess this really only leaves us with one option. Well, no, it leaves us with two options. We're going to take away this wall and see if we can't corner dig it. And then, if that doesn't work, the only option is to break in there, rip this down. Oh, that's not, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> okay, here comes Curie. She's not looking great, but let's remember it was like a steam bath up here not too long ago. So that's, that's where that's come from. Okay, we're digging out quite nicely here. I'm gonna I'm gonna stand on the ready to put these back. Hopefully, this is something we can do in one swift action. She should have the dig as a priority. Is this not something that we ask Curie to do? Okay, building and digging are the same. Let's uh, let's turn digging down one. I feel like this is something that we've had to adjust before, but let's do it again. Uh, Curie, could you please move over there? And now, well, uh, if we don't spaghetti our way all over the keyboard, she should now walk forwards and dig this first. Yeah, all right, beautiful, beautiful. What's going to happen here? Looks good. Mm, okay, first off, we don't want you picking that up. Secondly, what's... um. What's going on to here? Mm, okay, I thought this this might happen. This is something that I am aware of as a bug from earlier in the game. If you drop hot liquid, hot magma onto igneous rock, it will just turn into the debris on the floor. So I've asked the door to close, and hopefully this won't pile up too much. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're just gonna sit here and consider our next move I don't, know. I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't know if I've got a next move I, I, I really have no idea what we can do here um, we'll, we'll just wait and okay all right no, I'll take it I'm not I'm not I'm not even gonna be mad I'm just gonna take it uh, below 170 yes it is okay we're just, we're just gonna let this run through for this 200 cycle like like I said we should in the first place I mean, it's dropping a lot of temperature here. I'm wondering what's going to happen when the door closes. Do we get a load of magma, like, splush up this way? Is that something that happened? It doesn't, doesn't look like it is going to be something that happens. I do hope we don't uh, destroy lava when we're doing this. I'm just going to wait for this whole thing to solidify. I think I think that's the plan. We're going to wait for this whole thing to solidify. We're going to put in some sort of complicated airlock in the, like four blocks that we've got here to do stuff with i'm not i'm not entirely certain we could probably put put some liquid somewhere and seal something off but i'm not i'm not sure we've got quite a large area there it's kind of hard to see what's going on in the shadows but we'll figure it out we'll figure it out i mean we're, we're pulling temperature out of the door the copper is also dropping in temperature and the magma i mean not quite as slowly but it is also dropping in temperature i wonder at what point this freezes a thousand and eight i mean that's it's gonna be a while magma on the other hand freezes at 1400 so i mean we're very nearly there with that as well there's a 200 degree difference does that matter i don't know Oh, we just watched the copper solidify over there. Okay, that's pretty nice. As suspected, the igneous rock is indeed transferring all its temperature across. I wonder where we can get in there. Oh, no, that would isolate isolate everything out. and We uh, don't want to dig this particular piece of rock here. I was wondering whether we could get through here to do such things, but no. I have built a bottle emptier, and we're going to drop a little bit of liquid here. Unfortunately, there are already gases up and in this space here. How are we going to deal with that? I, I don't know. We could... We could build a pump in there i suppose yeah it'll fit look we, we we can totally vacuum this little area out okay a plan has been formulated and i'm gonna try and enact it what we're gonna do is put a new metal um, 
mechanicized airlock. Mechanicized? Yeah, it's a, it's a hard word for me to say for some reason. Uh, we're going to pop that round in this direction. It doesn't like me doing it because there's a ladder there, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to go in there. We're going to take out this ladder. We're going to dig out these guys here, and we're going to put down another door. Uh, we're going to fill in this space here where this copper is currently sat being a thousand degrees centigrade. It, it's going to be some problems, but we're going we're to overcome these problems as we do them. And then this thermo sensor will actually control both doors. What will happen is the, the close signal will come to both. This one will close first before this one then closes. And then we'll send a not signal round to open this guy back up. Hopefully then just trapping a small blob of lava down the bottom here with a vacuum between it and this second door and nowhere for the heat to go rather than in here. That, that might work. I'll, I'll give it a go. Uh, right, so the, the next thing we're going to try and do is to pump all the gases out of this little... Um, little isolated area that I have made here. Thankfully, almost everything has been delivered so far. We just need to get this power line in the way and off we go. We are pumping out all the gas, dumping it outside. Now, I think we might be a little bit nicer to the duplicants this time. We're gonna, not going to set up a full station for the atmospheric dock suits, but we are, if I can actually find them any... I'd, we, we could just drop a dock there, right? Look, right right there, and then that will hold a suit for anyone going in and out, and we'll just tell them to put the suit on. Like, it's going to be Curie, let's be honest. We'll just put the suit on Curie, and then she can go deal with it herself, right? That's. I think that's how we're going to solve this. Of course, we need some of this reed fibre. Let's have a look up here. Uh, there's 11 here, so we haven't had any ship over yet. I have added it to the list of wanted goods, uh, but uh, obviously filling up the battery is more important. Quite, quite a lot is more important. Turns out there's a lot of polluted dirt in the area. Oh, okay. This this might be a problem. Well, it's not a problem, but it's going to take precedent for a while. Why hasn't this been shipped out? Okay, the reed fiber is there. 11 reed fiber. Beautiful, beautiful. We need to, some room for an exosuit fabrication unit. The exosuit forge. Where are we going to stick it? I mean, all, all the way over here it would be an interesting choice. There's a bunch of flowers there. Okay, that that I suppose is not the best option. Or is it? It's close by. I might I might just go with it. I might just go with it. Change my mind. This is closer. Okay, Exosuit Forge. Beautiful. We can make one out of iron. I'll take one out of iron. I'll also then forever queue up the uh, repair the worn the worn out suit. That that should uh, make sure that we are fully catered for. Building the dock, boar, doing the wonders here. Right, we need to get some oxygen up here. I suppose we could have pumped it right from out here. Do you reckon we could do that anyway? Yeah, we can do that anyway. Okay, Rutherford's the lucky individual making the exosuit here. This should uh, be made in just a moment. Unfortunately, too many things to be swept up for us to actually be able to see anything going on with the progress bar. We're getting more reed fiber delivered. That's pretty good. We've got iron and more reed. Uh, we might even be able to make a couple of suits here. That would be nice. I did never notice these tiny little hands on the side here before. All right, what we got? What are we going to be given? Is just one on the floor. All right, cool. I've asked for it to be delivered up over this way. It looks like it's going to take a... Oh, look, they suddenly want to do it. How, how fortuitous. Of course, we are delivering this suit so that it can get an oxygen supply, and uh, we haven't put power to this one. Okay, that's, that's fine. Let's just do that quick. Okay, power going in. Now we should just be picking up a bunch of oxygen from around. That's pretty nice. Vast Curie to start opening this area up. Though really, I would like her to get the suit on first. Uh, we can undock the suit and then uh, assign it to her separately. Oh, this is... Curie, you going to be all right? Is this going to be fine? Where did all this carbon dioxide come from? Did Curie just breathe it out? That's That's kind of bad. Okay, took a whole ton of wrong element damage. We still had the two pipes connected up, and Curie has been breathing out a little bit more. That's unfortunate. Rutherford, where are you going? You're picking stuff up. That's very hot stuff, mate. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, well, good luck. Is, it, is he is he dying from the heat yet? Is is there a problem here? Like, nine, 900 degrees. What's your temperature? It's fine. It doesn't appear to be going up at all. In it goes. Is this going to be raising the temperature around here appreciably? I don't know. I mean, the hatch ate it, and um, okay, I think 
I think we're fine. Even super high up, this pump kept on grabbing carbon dioxide from the floor, so I ended up scrapping that and just asking people to come along and build this. To get the uh, automation up and running, I had to get rid of the doors because everything was just kind of in the way. I would have liked to have picked up stuff from there before we go ahead and build this next one. You know what? I'm just going to cancel that for a moment because I knew this would open. Okay, Boar taking the place of Curie right now. Uh, I don't know what's what's wrong with Curie. What could possibly have happened to her? But over here, we are facing more troubles than just getting this door in place. At the moment, the uh, steam chamber is colder than it was ever really supposed to go. We shut everything down so that we could get in there and start doing work. But one of the problems is that we are starting to um, build up quite an igneous plug here. And that that's going to be quite difficult to make our way past. We are actually going to have to physically dig our way up there. I was kind of hoping Curie would be on the ball for this so that we could give her the suit. I mean, she might very well be fully mended anyway. Like, the beginning of the uh, the cycle, she was halfway down. Like, we, we are watching this go up quite uh, quite fast. Can we um, sweep, sweep whatever that is there, Just making her feel a little bit worse about the area around her? That's, that's pretty bad. Thank you, Plank. Oh, yeah, the, 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 there she goes. She's off to go do the things. That That's good. So can we now go atmosphere suit, Curie? Like, really, grab it now. Grab it now. Okay, that that's good. All right, great. Away she goes. Half full of oxygen. That's good. So everything's going to open up. No, it should stay closed. Okay, we're going to put this back to 200, and then everything should open up. All right. We're planning to put a, um, a thermo tile there, an insulated tile right there. But actually, we, we need to dig. <laughs> oh, I mean, this this is totally going to work out fine for us. There's, there's no way this won't work, right? <laughs> of course, we'll be slamming down some... Uh, oh, no, end of, end of day. End of day. Wow. What I was saying is the moment that we dig out through the igneous here, I will hit this switch and it should shut. Oh, I don't like how long that took. Let's have a look at our settings back here, the buffer gate. Let's uh, let's just set that to two seconds, see if that's good. Of course, the aim here is that when we shut this door, we have somewhere for the magma to escape from that was in here. Some of it will come down, some of it will go up. I just don't want to delete the magma that we're working so hard to get in here. At some point, we're going to to like dig all this out and let all of this loose but we're, we're we're working we're working magma of course even too hot for doc uh, for atmospheric suits for exosuits hmm this this is it this is where it gets pretty real uh no can you not get up there okay i really thought you'd be able to stand on that try deconstructing this tile here I'm gonna cancel this uh, and see if she can work her way up that way no okay this is a thing of course everyone coming to pick up the scalding hot rocks and take them back to the hatches okay I suppose yeah, fine let's uh let's beat this guy up Okay, th there we go. That that was actually what I wanted to happen there. So this is pretty good. I'm a little bit worried about this stuff here, but I, I guess we just got to live with it. Um, Curie, could you just dig it all out? Just dig it all out. We'll, we'll bail when we need to. If anything, this is more sketchy than when we first opened the tunnel. Oh, Curie's about to run out of oxygen in a suit, so if we could get this done, that would be very happy. Why is she not just getting on with it? Ah, what, what else are you doing? Life support over here. What? No, 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 wait. Uh, priorities. You can crank back a little bit on the life support. Thank you very much, Curie, but you, you've, got, you've got things that are much, much more important to be doing. Okay, here we go. Oh, I think I'm gonna bug her out like right now. Let's move over here. Oh man, we're actually gonna have some problems, aren't we? Look at this, yes. Uh, and now I'm gonna flick that switch. No, cu Ooh, no Curie. Further away, panic. Panic has in uh, set in. Okay, so far so good. All right, we're, we're fine with this. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, all right, all right. That, that wasn't great, but we've turned all of the lava into igneous rock. Super hot igneous rock. Uh, but we now have a way up and down. 
Oof. Okay, all right, yeah, no, it, it, this, this is okay. I'd really like to not have seven tons of 1300 degree igneous rock. I, don't, I just don't know how to deal with it though. I mean, this is cold here, right? Do you reckon we can just throw a... <laughs> this, is, this is not gonna work. I'm almost certain this is not gonna work. I mean, the problem is we've got so much stuff. Is that just granite? Okay, no, maybe we will be okay. Let's set this to igneous rock allow manual use Let, let's let's see if we can get people to pop it all in here combat oh, of course there's combat i i asked the combat to happen here it is here it is look at the oh man that that's horrific even curie's coming in out of quick suit great thanks that totally could have been a bigger problem oh uh, that kind of worked. that was all right that was all right that that went fine that went fine not sure if moving the whole seven tons in one go is a good idea, but we're um, we're gonna gonna move a few bits of it. Oh, ah, no, that that is totally not what I want. Can we move to this and uh, cut that off from there? Okay, that that's better. That's better. Now it's totally sharing the heat out. What's what's going on on the overlay? Uh, it it's getting pretty toasty, but I should imagine. The, uh, the temperature from the water is really helping to hold that down. Do we have a higher temperature? Any? I mean, like, it's 20 degrees by the time it leaves here. I think it'll be fine. And actually, with it coming through at just over 20 degrees, means we're then pumping out the most chill water we possibly can to soak up more of the temperature. Yeah, okay, this is nice. This is nice. Okay, I'm going to rather manually rail out a whole bunch of this stuff, pause it, cut that line there, and just let that warm up the uh, the, the, the steam. Yeah, that, that works. That works. What are you guys doing? Ooh. Ooh, we, they're, they're turning turning my liquids into petroleum. Okay. They must be grabbing all of this uh, igneous rock here and just taking it down to feed the hatches, which, um, okay. I suppose, as long as they're not going to pick up the heat. Watch, watch this hatch again. Let's uh, let's see his temperature, 23.9. Yeah, I think I think we're okay. Oh, it did go up a bit though. Mm. So I guess we only really have one option of building a whole robo miner setup at the top here um, with a on-off switch. And let's uh, let's get some steel wiring on the go. Uh, I think we can go this way. And up like this? Will that be fine? I think that should be fine. Oh no, we've got a big problem. Oh no, we've got a big problem. Oh no, we've got a big problem. Okay, let's... I don't, what happened? What happened? My, my petroleum just disappeared. The, the liquid lock broke. And now we've got very hot oxygen. That's that's a big problem. Okay, deconstruct highest priority. Like We're just, we're just going to have to like do what we can whilst we can and crude oil petroleum whichever i don't care as quick as you can please as quick as you can okay well we're actually getting dropped no boar's not actually bringing the thing okay uh, here comes curie also not looking great crude oil i'm just kind of gonna let a whole bunch of this spill out and then turn it off okay let's uh let's see if that does any better of course we now need oh what, what's yellow alert now oh i've been asking things to be picked up that can't wow okay but uh, we're gonna have to pump all this oxygen out. That's that's quite bad. Oh look, no, sour gas. This must be what happened to my petroleum. <laughs> in, in bonus news though, they've moved all the igneous rock away. That's that's good. As tempting as it is to just put down a blob of wire that will melt when things get too hot and just turn on the uh, the auto miner here, I think we're gonna go for the full uh, signal switch setup so we can turn it on and off to clear out all this area oh, we still don't know if this is going to work properly and once this once this opens up that's that's going to be some big problems <laughs> if it goes wrong if it goes wrong wow something crazy has happened here uh, i think we've got a bit of hot something behind something somewhere i don't know where it is but there's there's troubles there are troubles are brewing i'll take your mouth lid please thank you oh here's some more trouble we've got magma spillage too much liquid oh i don't know how to deal with that Kira you weren't really no 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 you weren't really supposed to come in here 
Okay, that that's a problem. That's a big problem. Oh, guys. Good luck. <laughs> we just need to get her out and into a, into a cot. And then everything will be fine. Plank, are you going to be able to do it without... Yeah, okay, that's that's fine. I think I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, Kiri, yes, that's... I mean, it's not good, but nobody's dead. I wish I knew where this sour gas from that came from. It really just seems to have appeared out of nowhere. Thankfully, uh, we seem to have condensed the uh, magma that was taking up this spot, and we are now uh, pumping out the oxygen that was uh, conducting all the temperature around and causing everybody to get awfully, awfully burnt. Pure Curie had uh, a, a serious run in Plank as well, both standing. When I say we condensed the magma, Curie's body was the thing that provided the uh, the source of cooling to cool down the magma we now we've now got 1400 degrees igneous rock i'm sure oh, nothing will go wrong there i was i was literally watching this i was literally watching this as uh, just before we were talking and everything seemed fine i don't know what uh, like what it's that it's moving the 1400 degree rock how do i stop them doing it how how do i stop them you build a door and then you say, no, nobody's coming through, only Curie. Curie is the only person who's allowed in and out. Ugh, that's how you stop the moving material that's too hot. Now we've got to wait for all this to get pumped back out again. That's gonna, oh, that's gonna take some time. Thing to remember whilst watching these oxygen levels, thousand milligrams is a gram. And it's about the five gram mark where it swaps over, 5.4 grams, 4.8 grams. Okay, Curie's already trying to get inside here, but we... I don't think we can let that happen. I, th I think we're also going to put her on the ban list for now. Don't... don't. Yeah, there we go. Uh, just, just until this all gets pumped out. Hopefully she'll come through and do these other wires instead. Yes, that's exactly what she's doing. Wonderful. It's really tempting to go in there and knock out this insulated tile to give the oxygen more room to flow through. But at the moment, this door is the only thing that keeps me safe if there's like any sort of lava mishap. Uh, and if I take that block out, that kind of takes away that safety barrier. I can close the door at a pretty quick notice, just like so. Uh, opening it back up, gotta be some troubles. Look at that smooth door action, by the way. Okay, I've given Curie access in. There's a about, well, there's less than a hundredth of a gram all through this area. Maybe maybe a hundredth of the gram there. Uh, I'm hoping that that's not going to be too much for her in her exosuit. This should be just a case of go in, build the switch, uh, and run away for more materials. I, I hope that's the case. This seems to be working out pretty well for her. Okay, she might just end up doing a whole bunch of stuff here. Great. More oxygen in the suit, you might notice. That's because I built a dock suit here on the main oxygen line for the base. It's nice, cool, cool clear, crisp stuff from, the, from our little producer over here. All right, I think to finish this, we're going to have to dig out this tile here. And that mildly terrifies me. I think this should be like Curie's next action. Okay, beautiful. Is this going to flow? I, I sure do hope not. Okay, we're, we're good. Um, Still can't get up there. Let's build another one of these. Oh, and let's put that switch to off before we before we do that. That that's probably a good idea. I don't I don't want to turn this on straight away anyway. I think the first thing we want to do is try and leak some magma in through this way and deal with a small amount of flow first. Hopefully it won't. I mean, we're gonna have to try and figure out how to get these rocks out of here. That's these ones in particular are gonna be very awkward. Oh, it's drifting. Okay, I was worried, but I think we're good. I really do want to just pick... Well, not so much the obsidian. I don't mind about the obsidian, but I really want to pick this igneous rock up. Oh! Ah, of course, overheat temperature is different from melting temperature. I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I am going to save this and try something crazy. We, we might end up just running with it anyway. I'm going to build a tile there. We're going to do it at a, a no, no, super high priority. Beautiful. Uh, let's... Oh, no, there's, there's still oxygen in here. Hmm. Do I care? I mean, I do very much care, but this this is just an experiment, right? This is just an experiment. Let's let's go. Ah, uh, can he not do the obsidian? Oh, that's 
Oh, that's super sad. Well, aside from being really funny, <laughs> we, we should probably deconstruct this. Ah, that's... <laughs> oh, ah, I mean, does this mean we've... Uh, we have to... Hmm, how are we going to get rid of the obsidian? There's there's another alternative right here, staring at us in the face. We we could we could try this. We could try this as well. This might be a way of doing it, and it will give time for the oxygen to vent out. But yeah, let's try that. It's uh, quite a cycle number, by the way. Amazed that Curie isn't suffering any stress. She's been through. She's been through a lot. She's been through a lot, and we're about to put her through another like pretty pretty nasty excavation. Okay, Curie coming in to build the doors now i noticed that she's making the delivery first for this one i'm uh, building two separate doors like uh, building doors twice we, we're gonna close this one yeah leave that closed um and then we're gonna try and dig this one afterwards which obviously we will open up the door for yes i'm worried i'm very worried also, Curie may have got in here in the morning without her uh, exosuit on and completely ruined the whole thing that we were doing. That, that, that's great. The, all, all this carbon dioxide is one exhalation. That's terrible. Okay, one door in place. That's that's good. That's very good. That copper is totally going to melt. Yeah, I um, may have set this up to be copper doors to start with. We, we already know that's not a great idea. It was by accident. I didn't, I didn't mean to. So I'm going to face a bit of a conundra right now there's there's gases out there and i'm about to let magma free do i flick that switch yeah i think i think i'm gonna flick that switch oh i can build that okay that that's good curie not really ideal if i'm to be honest but you know what we'll take it hold hold fast let's let's be fine okay she picked up some of this light and is, is out all right Okay, building a sacrificial pump to try and get some of these gases out quicker. There may have been another vaporization issue. What are you taking out of here? Uh, th this this may or may not have been the thing that did it. So uh, let's... Uh, I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried. Let's watch the petroleum. We're at 68 degrees. 136. And then it chills back down. But it's still... it's It jumps up. It jumps up crazy amounts. Okay, both pumps working in tandem. I was a bit afraid that this pump would overheat, but turns out, no, that's not the thing. Kiri, what are you doing? Please. Okay, that's not quite overheated, the petroleum. That's fine. So I have some problems, but I also think I have a solution. As we can see, this abyssalite, 704 degrees C, much colder than the magma over this side. And I do believe if magma drops down below 1400, it solidifies. We already know this to be a thing. So I want to be able to get this all out of here, but it's very, very hot. And I don't want to pull it past this piece of petroleum here because it could very easily flash it all up into steam, and uh, into sour gas. And I've been working very hard, very, very, very hard to keep this area clear of gases so i'm asking for this automatic dispenser to be built of course curie's like nah i've got i got i gotta go get some food um okay also desperately in need i took the suit off her by the way uh, desperately in need of an artist at some point maybe maybe we'll get around to doing that i'm gonna deliver this suit and tell someone just to like really make sure that happens before tomorrow morning if we get if we can get gas back in there we might be able to deal with all of curie's problems in one day i mean they're my problems i suppose not sure if i've included this but what happens is i just let the gases fill up the atmospheric suit here uh and then when it is indeed full which should should happen at some point ooh, look at that 36 percent durability we're gonna have to uh, watch out for that but once it gets uh, completely full of gases all i do is hit the uh, the button to uh, drop it on the floor and then assign it to Curie. Th turns out you can assign it from the actual dock itself. Who knew? I, I sure didn't. But then we undock that, and uh, if we come to the atmospheric suit, we can see Erin's. Curie's going to do that after she does whatever it is she wants to do. Oh, sleep. After after she does a sleep. <laughs> and then in the morning, when everybody wakes up, Curie gets to have a lion? I mean, I, I suppose she was up late during the night. Okay, so when she wakes up, the first thing she does, the very first things that she wants to do is go along and equip the atmospheric suit. So that that should be fly, fine. I think this should all be good now. And then she's just like, yeah, I've, I've got a dispenser to create. 
Okay, delivery down. That's all the uh, all the materials I want, and we have turned the dispenser facing in the opposite direction. Can we can we see this at all? Is there any sort of materials overlay? Yeah, this this will show us which way it's pointed. You can see that it's pointed into the neutronium. What's going to happen? I I actually don't know. I'm going to go all sweep only. We're going to hit everything we can from in here, and I'm I'm just going to hit hit the go button. Now, Curie is the only person who's allowed into here, so she should be the only person that goes round and picks up all the stuff. Okay, and this should mean that none of it, none of it goes through this little bit of um, petroleum here. What's, ha what's happening to all our stuff? Where, is, it, is it going here? It's not going here. Are we actively deleting stuff? Is that, is that something I've just discovered how to do? I, I think we might be. Oh, there's buried objects under the neutronium. Um, I mean, I'm not deleting them, but they are, <laughs> they are becoming unaccessible. <laughs> Maybe not the stuff up here. I definitely need everything else to move. It's, it's going to be a shame to lose some of this obsidian, but the abyssal I could just go. But whilst we watch Curie remove the debris from my lava flow tube, I would like to take this moment right here to thank the people that have been keeping my metaphorical corridors clear, my patrons. Scroll up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. Names of people that have decided that me and my shenanigans are worthy of support. These are the guys and girls that have taken the time out of their day and the money out of their wallets to help keep the power flowing to my PC. And for that, I am forever grateful. Thank you so much. It's really going to help this student make it through summer the time of no student loans. Okay, so Curie is on the last trip now, I do believe. I'm gonna put this down, oh, well, as soon as she's picked up all the stuff, and she can't pick up all the stuff in one go. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, but the, the next thing I want to do after she does all that is to seal these back in. And now, thankfully, we got this up on alarm uh, secure, uh, alarm priorities, so she should come back and forth and pick this abyss light up before she starts to deal with the tiles here. That that would be good, that would be good. But it's, it's gonna take a little bit longer than, oh, what was that weird jump? Uh, it's going to take a little bit longer than I thought it would, which is not the greatest. Okay, so she's gone and done that. Let's hit the nine and uh, you're gonna gonna build these tiles. I don't think there's any granite around, but she is. Oh, there's there's some going. Oh wait, P nine. Let's let's make sure these are done in the right order, else we're gonna end up with an empty lump here, and then we'll get get a whole bunch of uh, magma stuck, and it'll all be troubles. Oh. Okay, here we go. Building them in the right order. That's good. That's very good. What do you mean flooding? Grooming station, hey? Oh. Well, that's a problem for another day. Let's move, let's move on further. Let's keep on doing what we're doing here. <laughs> okay, so the last tile is being put into place. I'm gonna save it because th all sorts of troubles could happen from here. Uh, we need to go... Hey, if this is below 200, that is correct. The, uh, the automation should be all set up. I really want Curie to be coming and building this before I actually... Yeah, is that good enough? Okay, that's good enough. We, we're, gonna, we're gonna throw the switch. We're gonna see what happens. How much lava is gonna come rocking down here? That abyss light, pretty, pretty chill. Pretty chill. Uh, the magma is starting to flow. Downtime has happened, but I'm not really that bothered about it. I'm not sure how much magma I want to let flow down here. Oh no! No, we're okay. We're okay. I was a little bit worried that this was uh, the igneous rock was going to fill up here. Uh, that there, there, there are some problems, but at the same time, I think I think we can accept this for now. This is going to fill up. We've got some temperature po pouring in. Do I do I throw this switch? I'm going to throw the switch just for now, just in case, because this is a lot of lava to have to deal with, a lot of magma to have to deal with. Uh, so the switch flows, all the magma gets pushed back up and both opened. Okay, that, I, I suppose that's a thing. It doesn't look like we've lost any magma there. That's fine. Again, should have put an extra buffer gate. Oh man, okay, that, that's a problem. Should have put an extra buffer gate here, in this little gap here. Uh, turns out, no, but... Um, Okay, no, no, actually, that's that's worked out. That's worked out. Okay, this has got up high enough that it will no longer trigger the robo miner. I, I think we might be okay. I just, just need to watch this for a little bit. I don't know what's going to happen when this magma solidifies. That's going to be interesting to see. I kind of don't want it to happen, but there's not much else I can do other than what's going on here. I don't know how to stop that little bit of magma dropping down. I've got a feeling it's going to come down to extending uh, this to, to three seconds. Is that is that going to be a thing? I don't know. We'll try it. Okay, so we've only got a little uh, drop, uh, uh, an item. I don't know what you want to call this particular piece of igneous rock. It's not solidified into a tile. I'm okay with this. Yeah, I, I am okay with this. 
Okay, Igneous Rock, 800 degrees. This is good. We're pulling out 400 of it via this tile. Uh, 400 degree thermo sensor, waiting to turn on the Robo Miner when we get down to 200 degrees. At that point, we're going to wait for it to drop down to 175 before we let some more flow. I don't know what we're going to do about this Igneous Rock here. This Igneous Rock here should hopefully drop down into this uh, this little tile underneath. I, I sure do hope. I don't know whether two conveyor rails touching have better conductance than two not touching. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to split this off just to make sure that we're not dumping too much into the rails when actually we're trying to cool the rails down. <laughs> the uh, little blob of igneous rock just melted. I, w I wondered what was going to happen with it and it turns out it turns into magma. That's, that's fine. I'm, I am fine with that. Still waiting to see what happens when this drops down to 200 degrees underneath here. That, that's a long time to go, though. So I'm noticing the auto sweeper can reach inside one of the neutroniums, as we can see here. I wonder if we could use the auto sweeper to retrieve the buried objects underneath the neutronium. Maybe, maybe that might be that might be the way to do it. That might be the way to do it. As a full disclaimer, I saved this game during uh, cycle four to eight. Uh, for the next episode, I'm going to go back to that. But we are here watching this and seeing how it performs for the next few days. Everything up here I'm just going to ignore. And we're just, just going to see how this runs. Whether, whether the stress test will be okay or not. The thing that I'm mostly watching for is for this temperature here to reach below 200 degrees. This thermo sensor underneath the metal tile. Uh, at that point, I do believe our igneous rock will be down around about 300 degrees. The robo miner should then... Um, should then mine out this the the igneous rock i've just noticed that the igneous rock here is like 1400 degrees even though it is touching this one here that that might be a little bit of a problem but that, that's fine we'll, we'll we'll wait and see what happens i mean it's gonna take a while that temperature just went up <laughs> Okay, here we go with the uh, auto miner is a uh, mining. It went up and down, but that's fine. We're dumping as much igneous rock as we can. Oh, we we can't can't fill this up with enough. Okay, I mean I've got a feeling that's because uh, uh, some of it was that sat on top. Hmm. Okay. Well, I I guess we'll see what happens when this loses too much temperature. We're nearly there. 175 will open. I'm, I'm, I'm worried. If I'm to be honest with you, I am worried. Let's let this flow. Sorry, just pausing time for a moment. Let's let this flow and get these guys... Oh, look, we got got a little bit of a steam generator problem over there. But I, I think we can deal with it. I'm going to let this fill up to over hit... Uh, yeah, no, that's okay. That's just flooded. That's, that's fine. Uh, and we're going to stop it there. We're going to stop it at this point here. Uh, and this is now going to be like, okay, that's good enough. I'm going to close one, two, and then this opens back up and it does pop back up. Okay. Well, we'll just, we'll just have to live with that as it is. I've got a feeling it's this, the door that's, oh, look how quick the temperature got dragged out of that. I think it's the door that's making it solidify, but I, I might be wrong there. I might be wrong. It'd be really nice if we could fully automate this, uh, this rock cooling system back here but unfortunately the research that I need is actually uh, quite quite the way up is this one here there's a conveyor rail thermo sensor I need that uh, and to do that we need to have space science we barely have we barely have radiation science we'll, we'll have to work on that another day but I think with this system pretty much running at full tilt, I am going to open up the switch. We're going to watch a little auto save together. And I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time. Well, I have no doubt that this would have broken in some manner or form. I'm a little bit worried about the way that we can't get this igneous rock out fast enough. But, you know, we'll, we'll figure that out. Next time, we will find out what's going on over here and why things are backing up and going wrong. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye. Look at the pocket. Look at the pocket open. Look at the pocket open. Bye.